hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a returning viewer thanks for returning if you're new you're welcome make sure you subscribe because i believe you will enjoy the materials on this channel so here we talk about fully funded scholarships bsc masters and um, phd for international students so today we are in canada at the house university in search of masters and PhD opportunities. So we're already on the page for international student funding, international student scholarships, bursaries, and awards. And there are different kinds of funding for international students. Here, you can see the different amounts. They vary from up to 40,000 Canadian dollars. You can get smaller ones like 2,000. The other ones like 6,000, if you scroll down a little. There are somewhat 15,000, 10,000. I think there's one of 25,000 as well. And just different bits. This is 50, this is 19,000. And often these are sufficient in covering your, um, your tuition and stipend and other things you might need. Yeah, some of them that are big enough to, co to cover those expenses. And let's begin with this one worth 25,000 Canadian dollars called Kilam Predoctoral Scholarship Level. This is usually a master's scholarship. And there's a PhD equivalent here worth 30,000 Canadian dollars. So let's see how to apply. Let's look at the applications requirements together. So it's worth 25,000 and um, plus international tuition and relocation allowance. So that's interesting. So you have 25,000, um, I think for your stipend, I believe, that's about 2,000 per month, which is good. Then you have international tuition covered, wonderful. Then relocation allowance, if applicable. So if you're coming from outside Canada, this will be applicable. And for those eligible, you have to be either Canadian or international student. So. Most of you already qualify for this. Yeah, everyone already qualifies for this in the first place. And now you're wishing to apply for a thesis-based master's. Pay attention to this. Thesis-based master's. There are thought-based master's and there are thesis-based master's. So when we look at the different departments and the different courses, have that in mind that, oh, what courses, what kind of courses um, is the funding going to cover, thesis-based or and taught based. For instance, if you click on agriculture, you check on the different types of degrees under agriculture, and whether they are thesis based or course based um, um, courses. So it gives you a full rundown of what the scholarship is all about, the eligibility criteria, those who qualify for a um, relocation allowance and things like that. So, however, to apply for this scholarship, there's something actually interesting. Of course, you can read on this, um, this bits of info on your own. And it covers different departments, by the way, whether you're from the social sciences, natural sciences, engineering. There's something called here the harmonized scholarship process based. This simply means that there is a portal here where you apply for different kinds of scholarships. So as we saw, different kinds of scholarships exist in this university. So there's a portal called the Harmonized Portal, where you apply for all these scholarships in just one application um, portal, or just through one single application. So not individual scattered applications here and there, if you understand what I mean. So for instance, now that you see that there are several scholarships here that you might be eligible for, so instead of um, applying for them individually, this harmonized portal gives you the opportunity to just send in one application that tags you to every scholarship that you're eligible for. I think that's the idea behind this harmonized scholarship process. And then they gauge other scholarship and if you get it, they give you an amount befitting for your for the course you intend to study. So having said that, since this Kilam scholarship is 25,000, you might just be qualified for something else that might add to this 25,000 and I might get up to 30 or even more. And that is what this harmonized, um, this harmonized portal would help you do. Um, 
would help you achieve. So it's already written here how you need to apply. So you might have to apply for the courses differently and also come back here to apply for this harmonized um, scholarship base, I believe. I think that's what the instruction is saying. I do not necessarily need to wait to get admitted for one of those courses, but you need to be admitted in the first place to claim a scholarship, if that makes sense. You do not need to be admitted before you apply for a scholarship here, but you need to be admitted to claim the money of the scholarship. Because if you have no admission, what are the points um, getting a scholarship or claiming a scholarship? Um, in the first place. So there's a deadline here that if you intend to apply for this scholarship, the deadline is on January 2023. But this date might be different from the date of your course application. So be mindful of that. So there are different courses here that we're we'll looking at shortly. Their deadlines might be different from this deadline. So make sure you have these two deadlines in mind and see how you plan and navigate, you know, how you navigate yourself. I think they said, they mentioned the documents you need to submit and every other thing. It's really the documents you submit for your usual um, graduate um, application in the first place. So it's specified here how you need to apply um, a step-by-step process. I believe you can um, read on your own. So let me just click on this to show you the variety of funding. This is very similar to what we saw earlier when we checked on the International Students Funding page. This is the page we started. And this harmonized scholarship page led us to this one, which is quite similar as well, which is quite similar as well with different forms of assorted scholarship. I just saw one here for African students, about 15,000 Canadian dollars. So you can see the different forms and see how best with the instructions and see how best to apply. I believe you have to, you have to apply through this harmonized portal for as many scholarships as you are eligible for. So how do you apply for admission in the first place? Since it seems from the instruction that the scholarship admissions or scholarship application is different from admissions application. So for admissions, there are different departments here. You can see it's agriculture, architecture, business, um, biochemistry. I can see civil engineering, health sciences, German health, journalism. There's some molecular biology and the rest of them. So let's take agriculture, for instance. Let's say you're interested in agriculture. So you go to either, are you interested in the PhD or MSc, let's see MSc, because I guess majority of people on this channel are applying for MSc scholarships or BSc holders. So you quickly read their um, applications requirements and the nature of the course as well. So this is thesis based. So it's qualified, I believe it's qualified for one of the scholarships we saw earlier. So check the admissions requirements. First of all, you need a confirmation from a supervisor. So this is important and they said it's required. So you have to look for a supervisor in this department who is ready to supervise your research, whose interest or whose research interest aligns with your own background and with your own research in the first place. So a CV statement of um, research interest, um, undergrad papers, abstract of honors or undergrad project, the project you did in undergrad and things like that. So you need to navigate this page to look for what they call the faculty. Look for those in the department and see how you're going to send them what they call a code email. So I've been able to fish out the faculty page for agriculture. And these are the different depart um, department professors. So in case this professor catches your interest, you read closely what his research interest is all about. Look at his publication and if possible, scan through these publications, at least do a speed read of one or two of them. And then send him an email. Tell him about your intention that you want to apply for a master's or a PhD in this department. Tell him you would like to work under his tutelage because you believe your areas of research align. Tell him what you've done in the past. Tell him your 
um, your admissions, your not your admissions now, your academic background, what you did in the past, projects you did in the past, etc. you undertook in the past. If you've published a paper before, also mention it. And it's also a good thing to send him a copy of your CV so he gets a glance of what you've done also in the past. So there's a video on my channel already on how to send email to professors. So go to the home page. This is my channel. Just scroll down and come here. How to contact professors for postgraduate opportunities. This will help you. There's also lots of videos here like a CV, how to prepare a CV and related issues. And um, how to write a statement of purpose or how to write a research proposal if it is necessary. If your um, professor wants you to write a proposal. But from here, it just says a letter of research interest. So this research interest is more like a statement of purpose. Why do you want to study in this university? Why do you want to study in this course? How does it align with your background? How would it equip you for your future? Um, endeavors and future goals and then um, i think that's it guys a quick one about the different funding opportunities here at the university of the house uh, in canada and i must say that applications in this university might attract what they call application fees so to process your application you might need to pay application fees i don't know precisely how much for this university but i guess it's close to a hundred if not more, 120 Canadian dollars, I just think. But I think it's something you can investigate. I think it's something you can investigate on your own as well. And that's it, guys. As usual, we cannot wait to celebrate you. There are numerous opportunities coming out now. This is the season. This is the time where you get lots of opportunities, lots of universities throwing opportunities at you. And, of course, my YouTube channel is here to support you and to feed you with all the information you need. So if you've not subscribed... Make sure you do so to enjoy more materials coming from this channel. And of course, guys, I'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now.